Hello dears, welcome to Beauty by Heart. I'm Lilian, as soon as Lulu. Today I'll be sharing with you dears my mini essence haul review. These are the newly launched essence products. If you are interested in some of these products, which are good, which are not, please continue watching. So in this video, I'll be doing the products demo, swatches and review. Hopefully this video can serve you as a guideline. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe. And for all of you dears who are watching my video right now, thank you so much for watching. It is my blessing to have you dears here. And now, let's get started! <laughs> the products I bought are mainly the newly released products and one repurchase. Essence also come out with this new travel series eyeshadow palette. But I'm not very into their travel series eyeshadow palettes formula And I find that for their formula, it turns moldy within a very short while So that's why I didn't buy that palette I only bought their newly released single eyeshadow And most of the items I bought over here are on 40% discount Yes, I saved some money <laughs> Let's start with the lipstick first I'm wearing this number 205, My Love, right now. This is a wearable red, and these lipsticks have sheer to beautiful opacity. I just did a swatches and review about this range, so if you just want to know more details about these cool collagen plumbing lipsticks, please refer to my previous video. I'll link the video URL on the iCard here as well as the description box below. I don't want to talk too much about these lipsticks here, so in short, they are moisturizing, hydrating, they have sheer to beautiful pigmentation as what I mentioned just now, and they have this cool tingling sensation when we first apply them on the lips. There are only four colors available here, and if there's any color that caught your eyes, you may want to consider getting one. This is the Essence New Gel Polish. And this is the colour on my nails now. In terms of formula, I cannot tell the difference between this new gel polish to the old one. And this new one is shiny, pigmented and you can just stop at one coat. I love rosy colours, that's why I find that this colour is very pretty. So I already used this gel polish a number of times in my videos and Sometimes their gel polish lasted very well on me, sometimes it doesn't. It so happened that this final rose doesn't last on me. In fact, example this morning, I just applied and straight after I washed my hair, all 10 chip off. If you just can see, that's real fast, yeah? I couldn't blink that much because all nail polish on my nails chip fast, regardless of the brands, the pricing, the location that I bought. So I couldn't complain much for Essence pricing. I also did a dedicated swatch and review of some of the Essence new polish I have. And if you just want to know more about their performance and the colors I have for reference, you may want to refer to my previous video. I will link it over here on the description box below as well as the iCut here. Now, the only difference I can observe from the Essence gel polish from the new one to the old one is just the packaging. Packaging actually is the same, just that for the new one, you can find the color name right in front of the bottle here and also at the back here. Whereas for the older one, you can only find the color name at the back. That's all. And there are also more new colors available in Garden Pharmacy. You can choose one that you like. Well, do I really recommend this? I would say that just for the pricing, the formula is quite good, just that sometimes it lasts, sometimes it doesn't last on me. And nail polish is something that I would not want to spend too much money on it because nail polish doesn't last on me. So that's why there is absolutely no point for me to get the expensive ones. So just for the pricing sake, I would still recommend this gel polish and they also comes with a lot of pretty colors. These are my go-to drugstore gel polish. And for dears who love pretty colors and want to have fun with colors, you may want to consider this. And I will definitely buy more colors from their range. <laughs> when I saw this, I immediately thought of Tati's Plentiful Blender. Don't they have the same shape? <laughs> Just different colors. This blender is soft, thick, Comfortable to apply on the face. 
I use this blender with powder, blusher, including liquid blusher, and other powder products. I use this in a few ways. When I folded this into half like this, this will be great for the hard to reach area like the side of the nose. It will give a very precise application. And when I want to apply powder on the forehead and on my cheeks, I'll just turn over and tap the powder with the base, which has a wider area over here, and then just apply the powder all over my face. And for the pointed tips over here, I will just tap some powder products over here on the nose area, the bridge area here, or under my eyes, or anywhere that requires precision. I will also use this blender after I use the makeup spray when it's drying. Then I will use this to pat all over my face to gel the makeup products to my skin so that it doesn't look so powdery. I enjoy using this blender and I will definitely repurchase this when this is damaged. I said before I will repurchase and here it is. Repurchase with a 40% discount. Yay! I've mentioned this eyeliner before in this video talking about drugstore eyeliner and I haven't opened this new one. I'm still using the old one. Okay, this cap is not part of the packaging, it's my own and I'm just recycling this cap. So I just insert it over here. <laughs> so that it adds weight and it's easier for me to draw. <laughs> no, no, basically I just find that it's quite cute on this. This liquid eyeliner comes with a stiff pointed felt tip. It makes drawing easier. This essence, the deep eyeliner, comes with a matte intense black effect. When this eyeliner is fresh, it picks out a lot of products. Hence, I have to remove the excess. I don't need to pick up the product again to draw. One pick is good enough. This eyeliner smudge tiny little bit once in a while. I have sensitive eyes, it will turn red when I'm in the aircon area. And sometimes when I tear, the wing at the outer corner will just smudge and disappear a little bit. Other than that, without any disturbance, it stay put the whole day. And I will definitely recommend this eyeliner for those who wants to have a good and affordable drugstore eyeliner and will definitely repurchase whenever there's a discount just like the new one I just bought this liquid eyeliner last night and only use it now I'm always on the lookout for a drugstore cruelty free brown liquid eyeliner but there isn't a lot of options so I'm very happy to see this tiny little eyeliner over here As I mentioned, I just used it about 2-3 hours ago before I shoot this video and so far, so good. I don't see any smudge touch wood right now. It still stay put. And I like the brush tip applicator. It's quite fine. And it allows me to draw a sharp wing over here. And not sure whether you guys can see the stain over here. Last night when I bought this, I opened up and swatched this on the hand and it stayed put the whole morning till I bathe. And now left with a lot of stain. So for the staining power, I hope that this looks really convincing and I hope this will also translate very well on my eyes too. I will have to update you dears about this liquid eyeliner performance. Hello dears, this is the editing me. So I'm going to give you an update of this Essence Brown Eyeliner, the liquid ink eyeliner. So it's still here actually this is waterproof but as you can probably see just now from the video clip it can be removed by water but it does not clean so thoroughly so it is better for us to use the proper eye makeup remover to remove this eyeliner at the same time I've been wearing this for longer now so I can understand this eyeliner better this is a treasure because it stay puts the whole day it doesn't smudge, doesn't move at with or without mask and I'm very happy with this purchase. These single eyeshadows are vegan, paraben free, alcohol free, oil free and fragrance free. So many free but it is actually four sing dollar each. <laughs> These are the Essence new single eyeshadow. Currently there are only three colors and they are all pretty natural colors. Not sure if Essence Singapore will bring in more colors soon. These eyeshadows are soft, smooth and moist for both the matte and the shimmery formula. At the same time, they are not so pigmented. There are two shimmery colors which is this number two champagne, this color, and this number four XOXO. And 
of this tree, there's only one matte color, which is number 14, flirting. But I couldn't find this color over at their EU website. For this number 2 champagne, I'm also using this as a facial highlighter over here on the cheeks, on my nose bridge here, as well as the chin area here. And for number 14, which is the matte formula, flirting. And this number 4, SOSO. These two colors are very near to my natural eyelid color. So couldn't really tell much difference and how long they stay on my eyes. In terms of formula, I still prefer their older single eyeshadow range which is this one in the bigger pen. I also did a dedicated swatch and review about this eyeshadow. And for the older range, I find that this color Morning Glory, this is a metallic pink. It has a very similar color to their new color which is this number 4 SOSO which is this color let me just do a live swatch between the old one and the new one so that you just can see better so I'm starting off with this old one Morning Glory look at the color payoff of this And this is their new one, number 4, SOSO. Can you still see the color payoff difference? The older one has a better color payoff. The new one is just so mild. And that's why I'm not very excited about their new single eyeshadow colors because I don't really find the color payoff to be very fantastic. And if you just already have this previous rich single eyeshadow, maybe you like to skip away these new ones because the color payoff is really not exciting unless you really want to have a soft touch look. So conclusion, which of these products are worth buying? I would say firstly, the deep eyeliner which I already repurchased the lipsticks if there's any color that catch your eyes you may want to consider this for this blender as well as their gel polish I found that these are optional meaning I will still restock or repurchase or get a new color when there is a discount and for this brown liquid eyeliner I will still KIV first meaning keep in view and so far yeah, I still like the performance over here. It stay put right now. No smudging, no disappearing. And the brown pigmentation is strong. Yeah, so far so good. I'm still satisfied with this right now. As for their single eyeshadow, I would say mm, no. It doesn't really excite me. And I'm wearing this number 4 SOSO as the main color over here on the lid. I applied at least 3 layers and wet them with water. You can also use makeup spray. Usually when foiled eyeshadows are applied wet, they will be more intense. But with this kind of color payoff, I am really not very excited about it. Yeah, I, I don't feel the kick of it. It's a no from me, but if there is further new release, I probably will just get one or two colors for video review purpose. Otherwise, I will not want to get them anymore. Uh -oh. I hope that this video is useful for you dears. And now dears, it's your turn to share with me. Have you tried anything new from Essence lately? Please comment in the comment section below because I love to hear from you. And last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. A single flower does not make a spring. Thank you dear so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell notification button below for my future videos. I like to do makeup products review as well as beauty related videos. So if this is your cup of tea, please join in my YouTube family. And yes, if you like to connect with me more, please visit me at my Instagram and Facebook platform. The address will be over here on the screen. May you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye! And before you go, please check out these two videos over here. Thank you!